Okay, today we're gonna to jump back into the community tours in Cochrane. And for this video, I chose the community of Heartland. So Heartland is another one of Cochrane's newer build communities, and it's located just west of the town along Highway 1A, right across the highway from Heritage Hills. So I touched on a few of the features of that community in that video, but let's take a deep dive and see what Heartland has to offer. As you come into the community on the right-hand side, just after turning off of Highway 1A, you come into the small little shopping area right at the start of the community. Now, like Heritage Hills, it's very minimal and it's quite small. Right now, there's a Petro Canada, there's a Tim Hortons, so you've got your fuel and your quick coffee in the morning. Uh, there is a liquor store, there's a dental office, there is a daycare, which is super cool, that there is a big, large daycare facility right in the community, so that's a big bonus. Uh, there's a nice little Mexican taco restaurant. And then one really cool feature that you'll see, and it's kind of a cool little funky little thing, is that there's actually a little, uh, I want to call it like a little shed or a little sh uh, shed's not the right word. I want to call it like a little hut. And it's a fresh vegetable stand that's right at the entrance of the community. So if eating local and finding fresh veggies is something that you're super interested in, right at the start of the community, there's a little spot where you can buy your own fresh vegetables right there without leaving the community, which is a super cool little feature and something that not any other community that I know of in Cochrane has. Other than that, you are gonna have to go into the main part of Cochrane in order to do any of your actual grocery shopping, you know, find your Canadian Tire, your home hardware, or any of your home renovation stuff. So that's a big thing to keep in mind is that, you know, living in these newer communities on the outskirts, there is that you have to drive 10, 15 minutes into downtown Cochrane and deal with the traffic of that Highway 22, Highway 1A intersection to go do your grocery shopping. Now the Heartland community has a mixture of front drive attached homes, rear lane homes, and two townhouse areas currently in West Town and the range. And I'll touch on each one of those areas later on in the video here. I just wanted to walk along, we're walking along Heartland Way here, the main boulevard that comes in off the western side of the subdivision. Now that road that comes along the western side at the tip right on Highway 1A is the location of that new multi-services uh, emergency services building with the new RC building in town of Cochrane. And then at the very south end of that road is a railway crossing uh, for pedestrians. And that's gonna be a big feature for anybody with young families because Heartland itself feeds Mitford School as its primary K-8 school. And that's located in the community of West Valley, which is just across the railway tracks. Now, in order to get there, you would actually have to drive up on Highway 1A out to 22 and around and through West Valley, but they've added a pedestrian walkway that allows you to cross tracks, and that way you can walk or ride your bikes right to your K-8 school, which is a really nice feature for anybody with small children uh, living in the community of Heartland. Now there's currently five different builders building homes in the Heartland community, and that's Excel, Akash, DS, Daytona, and then Rohit Communities. Now, Rohit Communities has actually branched off and has joined as part of the Rohit group, Rohit Land Development, and that's who's taking over the second half of Heartland. Now, Heartland was originally a development put on by Apex, and so right now I'm walking through the first half of the development, and the giveaway there is just the fencing style. Now, like other newer communities, there is architectural controls and some restrictive covenants in place. And now one of the big ones for Heartland and one of the things that Apex implemented was a fencing control. So they wanted all of the fencing within Heartland to be even and match and look the same. So there is actually a notice that all of the fences are to be built a certain way. So you can all kind of see they use the four by four posts and they're a certain height. And then they also actually have to be uh, stained with the same color of stain and that's all listed in a venting control document which I'll show you here. So that's just something to keep in mind that as you drive through the community of Heartland, all the fences are going to be uniform. So it just provides like a very nice aesthetic throughout the community, which I think is awesome. Now Heartland has a few parks. I'll show you the overhead of the main one here called Heartland Park at the heart of the community. It's got a nice green space beside it. How's it going? Now living in Heartland, you will be a member of a homeowners association like all new communities. And that's something that Cochrane has made uh, very important. And all new communities in Cochrane will be a part of the Homeowners Association. And so Heartlands Community Association fee there is $20 a year, which is super reasonable. And all that does, again, like I've mentioned in all my other videos, is it just provides upkeep. Provides upkeep for all of these boulevard areas, provides upkeep for the parks, provides upkeep and mowing around any storm ponds, 
which Heartland actually has two, one in the older Apex area and one in the newer Rohit community or Rohit land development portion. And then the community association puts on a number of events. So they put up a temporary outdoor rink during the winter and they assemble that and take that down every year and are in charge of the upkeep of that. They host multiple movie nights in the park, which is super great. One of the great features of buying in Heartland or living in Heartland in Cochrane is that you're only 17 minutes down Highway 1A from Ghost Lake. So you're already west of Cochrane, you can avoid that, that initial traffic of the Highway 22, Highway 1A intersection, and you're 17 minutes away from being at a public lake. So if the boating lifestyle is big for you, that's a big, big, big advantage for buying in Heartland. Being located right on Highway 1A, if you just continued past Ghost Lake, you'd be able to drive right into Canmore and access the mountains that way, while avoiding all of the traffic in Cochrane along Highway 22 with that current construction of the intersection and all of the stores along that 22 portion as well. So I'm just gonna show you here this main boulevard. We'll flip you around. You can see how wide the main boulevard is, providing lots of space for parking and cars. Just provides a really nice aesthetic. You can see some of the style of builds of the homes. These are the rear lane homes here. And then on the other side of the street, you have your front attached drive homes. So like most new communities in Cochrane, the architectural styling here involves really bold colors, sharp roof lines, and just makes the homes look very aesthetically pleasing. Let me here over my shoulder, you'll see in one of the multifamily complexes that is currently built in Heartland. Now, the great thing about these homes is that there is parking and visitor parking on the inside of this little townhouse area. And each one of these townhouse multifamily units does have a double attached garage on the backside. And you'll see that in the video here that I'll show you as I walk inside of it. Now, this one is on the Western side of the community and there is a playground just above it here. And I'll show you that in the aerial footage real quick. Some of the upper levels of this multifamily are gonna have mountain views because it is, like I said, on the west side of the development and then any homes that are on that west side as well do have the potential for mountain views so here's the inside look of that multi-family area and as you can see there's five or six units per building and all of them have that attached garage on the main floor and then they're a three-story property so if you're looking for a little bit more of a low maintenance option but still have the you know amenities of the parking and the attached garage this would be a great option because there is very minimal yards, very minimal upkeep, but you still have a newer built construction, like I said, with that on-site parking. And here again is a look at some of the townhouses that are on that western side. Now Heartland is still in the construction phase. And like I mentioned, Rohit Land Developments is now in charge of that second half of the phase, which is gonna be the eastern part of the development. And so at the tip of that eastern development, kind of right before the intersection of Highway 1A and Highway 22, they're putting in a nice large storm pond, and then there'll be some multifamily areas built into it. There's going to be townhouses, and there's going to be more duplexes, front attached drives, and single family rear lane homes. So there's going to be a ton of homes coming. I'll pop up the community map right away here. Uh, you can see they're kind of they're currently building in phase nine and ten, and then there's another eight or nine phases left to be built. There is a spot in the community, and you'll see that in the overhead right away here. I'll just throw it up. Uh, and it's that big black area. That is a area set aside to be a future school site. Now, the actual dates on when that's gonna come is always gonna be to be determined because it's very heavily reliant on whatever the provincial school budget is. I'm just walking along the pathway here on the south side of the community. Now, there is pathways throughout the community that kind of go between the different lots and connect to the different parks. But the other thing is along that entire south boundary, there is a paved pathway that goes along the railway tracks. Now, because the tracks do run beside this community, there is a sound barrier fence, as you can see here in the video. And that's just to help minimize any noise of that those trains coming by the community. In the direction that I'm walking along this pathway right now, um, you may be able to see it in this video. If not, uh, it's in the overhead earlier on in the video. The two schools that get fed by Heartland are just over my shoulder to the right, of, ahead of the angle of the video right now. At the end of this pathway, 
going back behind me is the one storm pond at the southwest port corner of this uh, community and then there's the, the pedestrian crosswalk that goes at the end of that as well which allows all the kids to get across the track safely and then into the community of west valley and down to those two schools with mitford elementary being the main school Okay, so let's quickly jump into the maps here. And like I do in all my other community videos, I'm gonna show you where Heartland is located, uh, how to get there, and just show you where everything is inside the community that we talked about earlier on in the video. So first things first, we're looking again, here's Cochrane, Highway 1A running west out of Calgary through Cochrane, and Heartland is this community just south of Highway 1A, right across from Heritage Hills right here. So as I mentioned in the video, you can see that the community is kind of built into two distinct phases. All the homes constructed currently were under the apex development and everything now in that eastern side of the subdivision is going to be done under Rohit land development. One of the big services that Heartland has that I talked about briefly in the video is this building right here. So if you've been driving by, just know that this building here is the new public services building or the new RCMP building in Cochrane. And so that's located right at the western side of Heartland. In the video, I talk about the two parks. So we have uh, Heartland Park here and then the park that I show in the video down here where you have two solid playgrounds and green spaces. And this one here is kind of built right into the heart of the community, which is nice. And down in the southwest corner of the community, this is where that first storm pond is with a little bit of an overflow area. And then that pathway that I show walking along is right along here along the south part of the homes. Now, one of the big things that we were talking about is the school locations and where Heartland feeds schools. So because Heartland is up off Highway 1A, in order to get into Cochrane, you do have to take Highway 1A into Cochrane across 22 through that intersection. Now, one thing that they did do is right here at the west end of the community along this road here, and I'll zoom in, is a pedestrian crosswalk to cross the railway tracks. And that allows residents and kids in Heartland to cross the tracks here and then walk across into Mitford School, which will be your standard kid eight, and then your Ecole Notre Dame de Valley, which is your French immersion school. In, this, in the video, I also talk about the school area, uh, the future school site, and that's located right here, and that's that big black spot. Now, again, as I mentioned in the video, that is very reliant on the Alberta provincial funding for a new school. So while it is set aside, could take some time, but eventually this will be a nice big grass green area, which will be a good park area in the interim. Now in the video, I talk about the two different uh, townhouse style areas. The first one is West Towns, and that's located right here, just off the main entranceway, just off the main traffic circle. And so the big difference with this one is it's actually run by Avenue Living, and it's a rental only complex. So there is townhomes there, but they are rental only. The other one is the range, and the range is right across the street from West Towns. Now the difference between the range and West Towns is the range is a condominium where you can purchase your home and it, while they are set up as fourplex units or townhome units it is part of the actual condo and so there is condo fees looking at one listing the condo fees were about 284 dollars now whenever i quote condo fees those are subject to each unit as each unit specific size is what's used to calculate the actual condo fees so a larger unit might owe more in condo fees than a smaller unit etc now the other multi-family home area that i showed you earlier in the video is actually located up right in here and as you can see it's right across from heartland park quick access up to the horse creek road access and that one there does have a little bit higher uh, condo fees and those were in the 350 mark so just keep in mind that uh, this complex here does have higher condominium fees uh, but you do have attached garages so slightly different and the garages are heated in there so pretty cool the shopping complex is located right here with the Tim Hortons and the Mexican restaurant, the Petro Canada service station, and then that little veggie shed thing is kind of right here. Where this is tagged as Mr. Mozzarella Pizza, that's actually not current. This is the actual location of the daycare facility. So if you're looking to know where that is located in the community, uh, this is that building right here. As the development goes on, this is going to be your next storm pond here and then i would expect that this pathway is going to run all the way across connecting the two storm ponds i'll pop open the community map here move myself out of the way so here's the current area here so this anything highlighted in this dark area is where the apex development ends and anything in the lighter area is now the new uh, row hit land development so as you can see here um, stage 10 is coming um, and then we've got stages 12 through 18 here as well 
in this new area here, you can see by the color shading areas, is that there's gonna be a few areas here set aside for townhomes, again, up in stage 10 as well. But the bulk of that is gonna be, you know, duplexes and single family. As part of the apex development, I talked about the fencing. I'll include a link to that fencing document in the description of the video, but just know that that exists. And then there is some current show homes uh, available from Daytona uh, with some, you know, beautiful finishings here. DS has some very modern looking homes. Um, Excel has their uh, single family 2,600 square foot home, which is quite a large home. And then Rohit has some laned show homes as well. So if you're thinking that, you know what, Heartland is a community that sounds like somewhere I wanna live and you'd love to go see some of these homes or see a listing that you'd love to go see, reach out, get a hold of me, and let's get you in to see that home and see if moving to Cochrane is something that fits your lifestyle.